This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2014 looking at some really cool power technology. I'm here with Joseph from Finsex. How are you, Joseph? Good. Great to, great to be with you. Okay, so I take it that you were not happy with the current state of affairs when it comes to these guys, these uh, massive power bricks that we lug around. I think anybody who travels, anybody who's on the go, hates carrying around the traditional brick. It's heavy, it's bulky, it's hard to pack, and you just hate it. Nobody likes to carry it around. Yeah, I'm actually using, what is it, a uh, HP Chromebook 11 only because it's micro USB and at least the chargers for micro USB are relatively small. Uh, but you've taken a different approach. Rather than change all the laptops out there, which is not about to happen, you've changed the power supply. Let's take a look. Right. So what Fin6 has done is develop a new technology. It's based on high frequency power conversion. And this is the result. We can shrink down current laptop adapters to one-fourth the size that they are today and one-sixth the weight using this novel VHF power conversion technology. So for people on the go, you don't have to carry the brick anymore. We've also built in a USB port right here so you can charge your smartphone, your tablet, any USB device so you can leave that adapter at home as well. Leave the brick at home and this is all you need to travel with to charge your laptop and your other devices. So is this going to work with my laptop and will it also provide enough power to actually charge it or is it just enough to run it? Yeah, so it'll charge it and it'll, it'll be enough power to do whatever you want to do on your laptop. Uh, this is 65 watts and almost all the laptops today are going to be 65 watts and below. Um, and we're also including DC tips with the product. So all the popular laptop models will be supported by this unit. So my Sony, my Lenovo, HP, it doesn't matter. It's all going to, even though they're kind of, you know, some of the Lenovo ones get really weird. Absolutely. We're, we're going to include all the tips in the package with the adapter. So it'll support all the, all the laptops out of the box. So how is it if, you know, if it's that, you know, if you're able to make a switching power adapter that takes AC and gives you DC at the wattage that you need, then why are these so big? And you're also being very generous here because this is one of the smaller ones. You should see mine for my workstation laptop. It's insane. The current bricks are limited by the, the current power conversion technology. And they use a switching frequency of around 100 kilohertz. And so what does that mean? That means you're limited. The size of the power components that are inside are going to be big and bulky. And the way around that is to go up really high in frequency. So Fin6 goes a thousand times faster uh, to around 65 megahertz. And by doing that, we're able to shrink the components to really small sizes. And then this is the result. So you get smaller because you're going faster. But what's the, uh, what's the, the result of that? Do you get more heat? Or what's the, you know, the, the drawback there? No, th there's no drawback. We're still as efficient as the current products. And we're still going to meet all the touch temperature requirements, so it's going to be safe to touch. So you've got all the UL and everything else you need. Absolutely. It'll have all the worldwide agency approvals. So we're eventually going to, we're going to start in the U.S. selling it, but we're going to ship this worldwide. When are you launching it in the U.S.? Uh, we're going to start pre-sales in March, and you can go to www.fin6.com and sign up. Uh, and production starts this summer. Awesome. How much is this going to set me back? $89 retail. $89 for how many grams? For 45 grams. That's a tenth of a pound. Wow, I think I could lift that with a micro quadcopter. That is fantastic. Joseph, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for continued coverage of all things CES 2014. Head over to revision3.com slash CES. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.